It is the 27th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, nothing really going on on SOT.net tonight, so let's go ahead and go right to the extinction protocol. Geologists warn of Philippines' Mount Bulusan volcano becoming increasingly restive. And I reported on this a few weeks ago, I believe last week. Mount Bulusan has been showing signs of abnormal activity these past two weeks. Uh, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology director said that uh, at least 10 quakes were felt around the volcano. They said that they noted changes in the form of soil around Mount Bulusan. Uh, and they warned of possible ash explosion and advised residents to observe the 4 kilometer radius permanent danger zone around the mountain. This is a very active volcano. 6.0 magnitude earthquake strikes South Pacific region of Tonga. Now this is on the ring of fire just north of New Zealand. Uh, there's been a lot of stress on this plate as of late, especially since the Japanese big quake. Uh, we've have been having a lot of earthquakes in this area. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Ice Age now, dozens of whales still trapped in the ice. I remember the beluga whales that are trapped under the ice in uh, northern Russia. And uh, rescue suspended due to complicated weather conditions. Um, so the danger persists for these whales that uh, they've been reporting on for the past few weeks now. Christchurch, one in ten residents set to leave for good. Scores of people were injured yesterday when a 5.8 magnitude earthquake rocked Christchurch, New Zealand, just 10 months after the massive quake crippled the city and killed 182 people, um, says the article in the Daily Mail. And it goes on to say that uh, people are leaving the country, or at least Christchurch region, in droves. Uh, there's pretty much no jobs, and uh, the infrastructure is still all torn apart. They had a very, very major earthquake in a big city. Over to the Watchers, Tropical Silo, Cyclone 06B aiming at India. Southeastern India may suffer late week flooding rain and damaging winds whipped up by a tropical cyclone off the Bay of Bengal, currently named Tropical Cyclone 06B, or 6. A land floor, landfall of the storm will be possible on Friday, uh, even late on Thursday, in the southeastern state of India down there. According to the Joint Typhoon Weather Center, Tropical Cyclone 6 is located 445 nautical miles east of uh, Chennai, India, and moving northwestward towards India itself. Solar activity heightened up 3 M-class flares and 11 C flares in the past two days. Uh, and again, we're gearing up for solar maximum. An M-class flare with a double peak took place this afternoon at 2030 UTC around active sunspot 1387. The flare measured M2.3 and was captured by SDO in the image below. A long duration C5.7 flare was detected around sunspot 1384 uh, this morning, December 26, and may have been the result of a filament channel eruption. An explosion resulted and may also be somewhat earth-directed. So maybe not a direct hit, but uh, we might be getting a glancing blow from one of these things. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the RSOE. Of course, we still have the cold wave uh, rolling through India, and they're dealing with problems, and now they've got a hurricane coming up to push through, or a cyclone. Flash flooding in Indonesia, uh, Java and Sumatra. Uh, volcano eruption, Mount Lokon Volcano in Indonesia uh, erupted, spewing ash up to five kilometers away. There's been no official evacuation order, uh, but there are several villages that are having to deal with all this ash. And of course their crops and all of that. Flooding in Malaysia. Uh, I got a forest fire and... Uh, the Savona region in Italy. Of course, the tropical storm in Australia and the Northern Territory, Darwin and Kakadu National Park region. Uh, still dealing with that storm up there. And uh, Thailand still dealing with the after effects of that, the giant um, storm surge that came in and uh, took out a bunch of houses in a village, trapped a bunch of people. 
that is about all new they have going on besides uh, the the oil spill in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Nigeria is still ongoing. Um, they just got an update on that one as well. That's about it climate change wide, wide tonight. Uh, going over to the nuclear stuff, uh, E&E News has got a bunch of headlines I'm just going to go down through. Uh, radiation detected in drinking water from underground wells over 15 miles from Fukushima meltdowns. Uh, 333 micro sieverts per hour on Christmas. Uh, they have a video with that and all the numerology that that entails. Confirmed TEPCO to drill hole in reactor number two containment vessel will start in January. And they have a video on that as well. It's just insane. They still don't know what's going on, on for real inside these reactors. you got to remember everything's done by computer model, uh, Westinghouse computer models. Uh, they're not giving us the real numbers. New York Times devastating government failure. Entire communities exposed to harmful radiation. Uh, the Fukushima probe nuclear disaster far from over. Government evaded admitting meltdowns and delayed disclosure of radiation data. And they've been proven to do this over and over again. Chief investigator rips Japan Nuclear Agency for evacuating Fukushima plant after the quake. They were ordered to return by the government, otherwise they would have went running and never looked back. Nuclear expert exposure in Japan underestimated medical levels of radioactive gases inhaled obviously should have been evacuated much further and much faster than they actually did. Now the entire population of Japan is one big nuclear guinea pig. Uh, no one believes government that Fukushima crisis is under control widespread mistrust and that is an understatement and uh, that's about all they have new tonight of course I missed anything please leave your comments or attach your videos below uh, remember to have some fun today enjoy what you can thanks for all your support everybody